Eddie Hearn, a new signing today, George Groves. How did it come about? I had a phone call late last week from Madam Booth to say that there was an opportunity to sign George Groves, um, who's a free agent, and we jumped at it, really. I mean, I've always been a fan for George. He nearly joined us about 18 months ago as well. And just the perfect time for everybody, really. Um, you know, I feel as though we've got the perfect platform to advance George and to box him as frequently as possible to give him um, huge exposure as well. So over the moon for George joining Matchroom. Just for the boxing fans out there, how difficult is it when you're signing a new boxer? Do you have to go through like contracts to see if he definitely is out of contract and things like that? Is it quite a complicated process to get him to sign for a new pro promoter? Yeah, fairly. I mean, the first thing you want is confirmation from his legal team that he's a free agent. And once that's come in, really, you are you know you can move forward and advance and sign the fighter. Um, if they've got a dispute, nothing to do with me. You know, I've, I've had this confirmation, so we're happy. And... Um, Again, you know, you have to be careful and you have to make sure that you get that confirmation legally. But when they do, a fighter like George Groves is someone who we'd, we're, you know, sign in a heartbeat because he's a great fighter, character, personality, huge name in London already and we've got some big plans for him. In the next 12 to 18 months, where do you see his career going? Building him a name in London is obviously one of them, but in terms of what would he be ready to challenge for in the next year or year and a half? Well, everything he's done through Adam Booth, so he really tells me what to do. He's my boss, if you like, in this situation. He tells me what pace he wants to move George Groves and what pace he, you know, if he wants to slow down, speed up, and, and I'll do exactly what Adam says. In the short term, he'll box on March the 9th, then he'll box as uh, chief support on the Froch Kessler undercard on May the 25th, um, and then he'll, uh, he'll headline his own show um, in September. So that's a short-term plan. In terms of 12 to 18 months, I think that's the perfect time to fight for a world title. And he's beautifully placed in every governing body to do so. One in the WBO, um, six in the WBC, seven in the IBF, three in the WBA. So really, um, you know, the fights are out there for him. The Stieglitz, Abraham winner, um, potentially Stevenson, potentially Beaker, uh, potentially even Froch in time. You know, and again, Adam will tell me exactly what he wants to do. You have signed George Groves today. You've got a fairly big stable at the moment. For Matchroom, is there a limit? Have you said to yourself there's a limit of how many boxes we can actually sign and we can promote? Is it because you've only you limited the amount of dates you've got with Sky? Is it difficult to, to sort of say we can't take on too many boxes in the next couple of years? Sure, and that's really uh, important because what you don't want to do is make get guarantees and promises to fighters that you can't fulfil. We're not at that stage yet. We're getting close. And when we first got this guy, there was a case of, well, you know, we're happy to use other fighters on our bills and so forth, which I'm still happy to do. You know, Jazza Dickens, for example, will fight on March the 30th. Um, if the fight makes sense in the town that we're at, I'll make that happen. Now we're at a stage now where the landscape's changed over the next, over the last week or so and continues to change. We will probably add two or three more fighters to the team in the next week or so, um, and then we'll be done. You know, it'll be time for us to, to close up shop and say, right, this is our team. Um, so, you know, if, if you're watching this and you're... you're want to join Matchroom you better hurry up because we've got definitely announced one more this week and probably one or two more next week so any Olympians no they're actually these the fighters that I'm talking about are existing fighters um, listen I mean you know Luke Campbell Anthony Joshua these are all people that we're talking to but I've said before you know it's not a case of just going out and saying there's a couple of hundred grand you sign with me if you believe in what we're doing and you think we're the right people to advance your career sign with us don't sign with us to get a chunk of money up front so Financially, if it doesn't make sense for me, I won't just pay up to get these fighters. They've proved very little. They've proved they're good amateurs. They haven't proved, you know, and signing existing champions, you know, you've got your product already. These other guys, you have to invest a lot of money in, which is fine. I'm up for doing that. You've seen me do it with a lot of fighters already. But, you know, um, I know I get criticised because apparently I've never taken a fighter from turning pro to world level well I've only been promoting two years so I would have done well to have done that but you know, we're bringing our youngsters on nicely and I think we're doing the right things for them and they're going to get the opportunities if they're good enough and uh, with George Groves you've mentioned he's highly ranked in a lot of the, the governing bodies there you're working closely with the Sowell and brothers for the Kessler uh, Froch match Abraham is promoted by, by Sowell and is that a, a realistic opportunity is that one of the, the sort of the and he's number one is that one of the more pressing sort of uh, belts that he'll be going for yeah I think you know with his ranking in mind I think that's the obvious fight for him um, again you're very you're right we've got a great relationship with Sowell it's just down to Adam at what pace he wants to move it if he turned around to me tomorrow and said I want the fight with Stieglitz then we'll go and try and make that happen uh, with Abraham we'll go and try and make that happen I don't think he will I don't think it's the right time he's only 16 and 0 you know, he's got huge potential, but that can be brought out. And when we're boxing him three times in six months, it's not going to take long to get there. Um, but again, he'll decide what he wants to do. And um, 
you know, which way he wants to go. But of course, with that ranking, that opportunity will definitely arise at some point. Uh, last question about Kelbrook's uh, challenge against Devon Alexander. Has a date been confirmed now with Golden Boy? And do you know when he's going to be challenging for the world title? Well, we've heard May the 18th, Atlantic City. We've had sort of confirmation for that and Golden Boy, but we'll wait for them to make a formal announcement. You know, it's their show. I don't want to start blabbing everywhere but but basically I expect that announcement to be in the next 24 hours and then Kel can go over there and become champion of the world